After World War II, many nations in Africa, Asia, and Latin America had serious problems. They were plagued by ethnic conflict, lack of education, technology, poverty, and political unrest. Some of these countries tried to stay neutral in the Cold War. Others actively sought American or Soviet aid. In Cuba, the United States supported a dictator in the 1950s. In 1959, a young lawyer named Fidel Castro led a successful revolt. Castro then turned to the Soviets for aid. In 1962, the Soviets and the Americans almost went to war over Soviet nuclear missiles placed in Cuba. The Soviets finally pulled the missiles out. Over time, the Cuban economy became more and more dependent on Soviet aid. When the Soviet Union dropped communism in 1991, this aid stopped. It was a serious blow to Cuba's economy. The United States had also backed a dictator in Nicaragua. He fell in 1979 to communist rebels. When the new government began helping leftist rebels in nearby El Salvador, the United States struck back. It began to support forces in Nicaragua that wanted to overthrow the communists. The civil war lasted more than a decade. Finally, the different sides agreed to hold free elections. The Middle East often saw conflict between those who wanted a more modern or Western-style society and those who wanted to follow traditional Islam. Such a struggle took place in Iran. In the 1950s, a group tried to take control over the government from the Shah, or ruler, who was pro-West. The United States helped the Shah defeat them. Over time, the Shah tried to weaken the influence of the Islamic religion in Iran. A Muslim leader named Ayatollah Khomeini led a successful revolt. In 1979, the Shah was forced to leave the country. Khomeini made Islamic law the law of the land and followed a foreign policy that was strongly against the United States. He also led his country to a long war with Iraq, its neighbor. The Soviets gained influence in Afghanistan after 1950. In the 1970s, Islamic rebels threatened the country's communist government. The Soviets sent in support troops. The United States felt its Middle East oil supplies were in danger and supported the rebels. In 1989, after a costly occupation, Soviet troops left Afghanistan.